what these guys are getting ready to work on is what we call a res change. Um, and what a res change entails is essentially on a weekly basis, we'll select, typically we do three res changes a week. Um, and a, we do a res change on three rack sets, I should say. So a rack set is one tank that feeds two racks, the front side and the back side. And because we're using hydroponic nutrients, because this is sitting in a relatively stagnant water tank, um, about every six to eight weeks, we like to do a nutrient change um, for a couple reasons. One, it keeps fresh nutrients in the system for the plants. And two, it serves as a clean break for us to uh, wipe down our flood trays, clean our tank. Um, because over time, being that we do use some soil, we do use some coconut coir, the tanks will get dirty and have some buildup of, of algae and, and debris over time. And so we do like to clean that out. Um, and a third reason for doing it is it just ensures that the system is running properly. Uh, we don't have any clogs, any backups, any issues that might cause a bigger problem in the farm. And so what that entails is essentially we're going to take apart the rack. We'll take the feed lines down. So this is the feed line. And uh, we're going to drain the tank completely and dispose of the old nutrient water. And then they're going to actually wipe down the insides of these beds. And then the tank and the pump will actually get uh, cleaned and soaked in hydrogen peroxide solution. Um, and so by using that hydrogen peroxide, that's what sterilizes and sanitizes everything for us um, before we put it all back together. So we've got our little screen here to catch all the debris all as it... Yeah, so this is a, a sink screen, yeah. And that's really what it's doing, it's kind of helped scrubbing off some of the built-up salts yep. and stuff on the, on the trays. Using a scouring pad? Or yep, just, just yeah. a sponge with a scouring pad on one side. I and mean... Yeah, you can see the pump that he just pulled out. You can see all the sludge on it. And then we've just plugged the pump in and let it run for about oh, five yeah. minutes. And you can already see a lot of the debris and then when it is done running, they'll come in there and actually use that sponge to do the, the scrub. On the outside yeah. of it, you, know. yeah. you don't disassemble the pump at all. No, it's yeah. just like that. It's probably um, pretty well sealed. Yeah, you thing. can't get yeah. much further than getting in there. Yeah, I mean, again, you know, it, it, it wipes easy because we clean it regularly. Yeah, and um, it's been soaked in water. Exactly, yeah. so it comes off easy, and then we just set the chemicals yeah. to do their job. Essentially, we just coil this peroxide in here, um, about four ounces of peroxide, uh, and then essentially just running the tank. This work is supported by a USDA Food Safety Outreach Program project in support of increased education and understanding in hydroponics and aquaponics operations. For more information, visit go.uvm.edu slash ponics.